all for eight years that I was in the assembly. Not for one day did I sleep under the same roof with my family. Not for one day. There were times when people went on holidays, I couldn't go because I had no money to go home on holiday. And even if I had money to go home on holiday, I wouldn't have money to come back. So I'll stay back on campus. There were times I could not afford to buy more than one tube of toothpaste in a semester. I couldn't afford to buy more than one notebook for a course. So I would have to use one notebook for either two courses or three. I start one course from the beginning of the note, start the second one from the end of the note. And I had to learn to write in very tiny writing so that the notebook can accommodate the courses. I was broke. But in my brokenness, God was teaching me to realize that I don't need anybody else. All I need was Him. And as I learned to trust Him every day, as I learned to say to God, and this was the one prayer that I know got me through in a lot of delicate circumstances, I would say to God, no matter how difficult it gets, don't let it be impossible. I will say to God, I don't care if you make it as difficult as hell. Just don't let it be impossible. I had no money then to buy clothes. But by the grace of God, before I left Nigeria 10 years ago, I was able to establish a scholarship fund.